So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, things have got very, very heated in the heavyweight division. Uh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury have had back and forth with one another. And as these things happen, it becomes very entertaining for the fans. Very entertaining. Um, Joshua has got... He's stuck in. You know, Joshua doesn't normally... Um, come out with stuff like that he doesn't normally come out and call you know another man a fraud or or put it on an or put it on another fighter like that Tyson Fury you know at times can get under AJ's skin and AJ has reacted in the past as well he's come out and said things about Fury uh all of a sudden just out of rage some most of the time it's responding to what he had to say but this time he initiated it and he's basically said out oh, Tyson Fury the world knows you're a fraud uh, which is quite strong. AJ doesn't really say stuff like that. But I think the reason for this response is, is because Anthony Joshua was frustrated with the way he was pictured in the Wilder situation and the fact the way, you know, Tyson Fury pictured him, calling him a fraud, calling him a chicken, saying that he came back to, uh, you know, save the image of the UK by stepping up and wanting to fight Deontay Wilder because the, uh, uh, AJ was scared to fight a Wilder. Uh, I think I think AJ's just kind of peed off that these guys just don't they just they just don't fight him for some reason. You know he feels frustrated now. Fury, listen, Fury was gonna fight Josh uh, Joshua, but uh, it's the fact that the you know he's lost the court case. The the thing that I think what must have frustrated AJ is the fact that AJ is basically saying, "Why are you negotiating a fight with me if you know the arbitration and all of this is going on?" This court case is going on. Why are you negotiating a fight saying that you're going to have you're going to fight me? Uh, or it's like wasting everybody's time. So I understand where AJ is going with this. Uh, and you know what makes it look a bit weird is the fact that Tyson Fury didn't sign the contract. And he was the one that was, you know, they were obviously AJ has signed his side, but they were waiting for Tyson Fury to sign the contract. And that makes me think that the reason why they weren't signing the contract was because of this court case. Right. Surely. Surely they knew, and you know what? If Fury had signed the contract, it could have been even worse for him, because if this, it just, it's ironic that this got announced after Fury had come out and said he was happy. But what I don't understand is if Fury was happy with everything and he spoke to Prince Khalid, how come he didn't sign the contract? I know it was a day after, but you would say that yeah, the contract could have signed it right and right and then. Uh, but I think they always knew all along that this court case, until this was this hearing was done, they weren't going to sign the contract, and I think. I, I think that's what it basically was. I think the reason why this um, contract wasn't signed was because of this. And now they've obviously got the news that, you know, Wilder's won the court case and Fury has to fight him before September 15th. Uh, if not, then, you know, I don't know, there'll be some kind of legal implications. Maybe he loses his belt. Maybe there's some other li legal implications. We don't know. We don't know the full story. But the fact of the matter is we know that he has to fight him. So uh, it looks like that the Wilder fight is going to have to happen Unless Fury can come up with um, or negotiate with Team Wilder. But it seems like Team Wilder are not really interested. So, yeah, the back and forth between AJ and Fury is obviously it's funny to see. But I think it's frustration from AJ's part because AJ is probably thinking the fights fell through again. When am I ever going to get Wilder and Fury in the ring? It seems like Anthony Joshua struggles to get those guys in the ring with him. And he's frustrated because he wants that super fight, which he was going to have with Wilder, which fell through. And then he was going to have with Fury. And now that's fell through. AJ just feels like he can't catch a break fighting either of these guys. And he doesn't need to fight either guy because he's got, he's, you know, he's a huge star and he can make a shed load of money without those guys. But the fact of the matter is he wants to prove he's number one. And unfortunately, every time that a fight between Wilder and Fury is negotiating, something comes up. And to be honest, you have to say, and I'm, I've always been a fan of, like, I've even said, I think Fury beats Joshua. Uh, and a lot I've, I've caught a lot of flack over the years. But I do think that this, you know, is more Team Fury's fault than Team AJ. Now, it's hardly Fury's fault that they lost the court case. I understand all of that. But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, they never, surely... <laughs> You know, surely they would have known that this court case could be a problem. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult to say, but it's frustrating for the fans because we're the ones that lose out. A lot of people are saying we're going to boycott Wilder Fury 3. I, I, listen, I'm going to watch Wilder Fury 3 because I think it's an intriguing fight. And I'm going to watch uh, Joshua Vyusik. Now, the only bad thing is that we may not get that Joshua Fury fight now because one of them could lose. And I think there's a very good possibility one of them could come on stock because both are fighting very good fighters in Wilder and Usyk. So it's not like... They're fighting gimmies, you know, and Usyk, it looks like Usyk and Joshua looks like a done deal now as well. Uh, I think that fight's probably going to go ahead. Um, that's a that's a good that's a good fight. That's a very good fight. And Usyk's very confident. Usyk, they're pushing. The reason why Usyk weren't negotiating with Dan, um, what's his name, George Joyce, is because I think they knew that this could happen. I think they knew, I think everybody in the background knew that this was a possibility. And as soon as the Wilder stuff came out, Boom, Alexander Usyk's team were on the phone to Eddie and getting it sorted out. And listen, one thing about AJ is, I know the WBO are pushing, I think they've given Eddie Hearn and AJ 48 hours. If that's not sorted in 48 hours, uh, if, if, they've not, if, you know, if there's no inclination that Team Fury is going to fight Joshua, the next 48 hours, the WBO are going to force that mandatory and Anthony Joshua will have to fight Alexander Usyk. So it looks like the Usyk fight is going to happen because 48 hours uh, that got released today. So you probably by Friday, if it's not, I, I think Eddie Hearn came out and said by Friday, we're going to move on. I think they have no choice but to move on. Um, so I, I don't think this is going to get resolved. And I think uh, AJ will fight Alexander Usyk. And I think I, I even said many times that I didn't get the feeling that the time was right for this fight. Just the current situation we're in, I didn't, I, I just didn't get the right vibes. I know people were saying it's very close and it's done. And I just didn't get the right feeling that this fight was going to happen. It seemed too good to be true. It seemed too good to be true. And I was right in the end. I was right in the end. Now, did I think it was going to be Wilder? I thought there could be a problem with Wilder. But the fact is that all of the Wilder stuff just went away. And you were thinking, what's going on here? Like, Wilder's come back. You know, Wilder... Bob Aaron was saying the contract's passed and we don't have to fight Wilder again. So surely that that was false. I don't know. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Surely what Bob Aaron would have known and his people, he was a lawyer himself. His team would know that the, the contract's passed. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Now, obviously, the Wilder's team, maybe because of the pandemic, it was hardly their fault. They're probably thinking... This fight can't happen without a crowd anyway. Uh, whereas now in America, there are places now. They're, they're, I think the July 24th is booked uh, for a stadium in Las Vegas. Allianz Stadium uh, in Las Vegas is booked for July 24th. So I think that might be the date when uh, Fury and Wilder uh, happens. But I understand, I understand AJ's frustration, man. Because now he's going to have to go into another tough fight and another tough title defense. And he could lose this one. Honestly, I actually think this is a very, very dangerous fight. Usyk is a very, very good fight. I know people keep going on about, oh, you know, Usyk's not big enough and I think AJ will beat Usyk. We'll see. We'll see. I don't, I, honestly, I think this is a very, very tough fight. Very, very tough fight. And I think you've got to give Anthony Joshua credit. He's got no choice but to fight Usyk because it's mandatory. Otherwise, he vacates his WBO belt. But nevertheless, you have to give him credit from going from Andy Ruiz, Pulev, um, Parker, um, you know, Klitschko, Takam, you know, Dillian White, Pavetkin. You know, he's fought some really good fighters. His resume is starting to look really, really good now. Uh, and yeah, I know he lost to Ruiz. And if he was to lose to Usyk, then... You know, obviously, but the problem is when you're fighting world class competition like Joshua is, there's a great chance that a couple of people are going to get you. And, you know, he hasn't even fought Wilder or he hasn't even fought Wilder, Usyk or uh, Fury yet. So, you know, Usyk, he's fighting uh, Usyk, who I believe is a is a serious threat to him. I do believe U Usyk is a serious threat. And I think Fury's. Uh, Wild as a serious threat to Fury and this is why I think all the back and forth and we may end up in a position again where before the fight the heavyweight division wanted to see was was Wilder and Joshua right that was the fight everybody wanted to see we never got to see that we never we never got to see that in the end and now 
it became it became about fury after fury beating uh, wilder it became about fury and wilder sorry it became about fury and joshua right and that was the fight everybody wanted to see but what's to say if usik beats joshua or wilder beats fury just say then all of a sudden the big fight becomes fury or wilder or, or or joshua or the big fight becomes usik and fury or the big fight might be wilder and usik who knows if both of them manage to pull off the win so it's with the heavyweight division you just never know you just never know and it's um yeah man it's it's a tough it's t it's tough as fans we're disappointed because we thought the fury aj fight was close but like i said i always had the feeling that this fight something didn't feel right um and it's it's now obviously aj venting his frustration towards fury and i can understand fury's hardly fury's fault as well but the fact of the matter is that it was his team you know this wasn't aj's problem it was fury's problem and it's because of his side that the fight's not happening i know it's not fury's fault but nevertheless it's still his side it's his problem and um they've been working so hard for the last uh, you know what i'm shocked about all of this was going on for i i feel like i feel like this was all going on for like five six months like we've been hearing how long have we been hearing joshua and fury are in, nego in negotiations and the fight's gonna happen and then as soon as it f seems like the fight's just about to get signed boom this this news just hits about wilder winning the arbitration it's a bit ironic and a bit coincidence that it happened at the right you know, at the time where it looked like Fury, Fury, um, Joshua was about to be announced, the the timing just seems a bit bizarre to me. Um, but it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. It looks like Joshua's gonna have to fight Usyk, and Wilder's gonna have to fight Fury. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you guys make of all of this? Joshua and Fury going back and forth. Who do you think's at blame? Who do you think's to blame? Uh, what do you think happens? Do you think both guys win their next fights? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.